I want that you understand what happened with the transmission. And uh, I want that you learn why the transmission increased the torque dramatically and uh, how that torque is controlled. What, what is the element or the, the components that uh, control the output torque and the output RPMs. This is the secret, the magic gearbox or transmission. All right, we are going to try to understand that situation. In this particular example, in the, in the inline transmission, uh, the, the motor is facing forward, the front of the motor is facing forward, and in this one, the front of the motor is facing, is facing on the back. Normally, this type of configuration, the V, the v drive configuration, normally the V drive configuration is used in boats with a short engine room because uh, uh, with the with this uh, configuration you don't need you don't need bigger engine rooms uh, in those cases the V drive is a good choice right now we are going to analyze in what scenarios is better one transmission or the other one however you found that an other inline transmissions like this like this the input shaft this is the input shaft and the output shaft they are basically parallel they are separated a little a little distance that distance this is the separation between the input shaft this is the input and this is the output all right this is basically because uh, the, the diameter of the gears the diameter of the gears that distance produce that separation Okay, this is uh, the typical inboard transmission. It's considered a straight transmission uh, for, for diesel engines. Okay, and we have a, another sensor. Uh, it's an oil temperature sensor. It's not a coolant temperature sensor. It's an oil temperature sensor. And that oil, uh, uh, oil temperature sensor uh, is, uh, is very important because it's uh, connected with the, with the uh, harness of uh, the engine and uh, send the, a signal to a special gauge to indicate the temperature of the transmission. Uh, in some cases that sensor uh, is working together with other switch uh, in order to uh, stop the engine if the temperature of the transmission pass the limit. Remember that uh, one, one element is the switch and other element is the sensor. The sensor is used to send information to the gauge or send information to the computer and the switch is an interrupter in order to interrupt the current and kill the engine stop the engine all right in this particular case those transmission they have sensor a uh, oil transmission sensor uh, uh, in order to verify the temperature of the oil in this particular case the input shaft and the output shaft they are a little separated they are not in the same line this is basically because of the thickness of the of the gears and this is a, a transmission commonly used in diesel applications inboard diesel applications all right and uh, this is the typical inline transmission and uh, this this one the input shaft the input shaft and the output shaft are completely aligned in the same line in the same axis and this is because those transmission use instead of gear with gear external gears they use internal gears in a planetary system. Right now we are going to analyze what is the meaning of that. What is the meaning of the planetary system? Internally, that transmission have a, a set of planetary gears. We are going to analyze how the set works. And yes, my friends, and uh, the system is like this. Let me, I, I explain with uh, more details that system. This is the input shaft. This is the input shaft, all right? and. Uh, uh, that's that's the blue one and uh, this is the output shaft this is the output shaft where uh, the the coupling is connected yeah this is the output shaft where the coupling is connected and look the gears for the planets are connected here yes all right and 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 this is the ring the yellow one the yellow one is the ring okay if you analyze the system, it's exactly the same like this. Okay, if you stop, if you stop with the red one, if you stop the ring, if you stop the ring, the sun and the planets are spinning in opposite direction. 
if if uh, if the ring is free both of them the blue and the yellow one spin in the same direction for example in this in this particular uh, slide usually the first gear the first gear is the drive the drive gear and uh, the second gear is the driving gear the drive gear is the power gear where the motor is connected and uh, the the driving gear is attached to the load the load that you want to move it this is the this is the concept let me I clarify with this slide a little better in gear ratio is the ratio between the number of teeth on two gears that are meshed together oh let me check in this particular example oh uh, the first gear have 25 teeth and the second gear 75 how much is the gear ratio is 75 divided by 25 is 3 to 1 and is expressed in this way 3 to 1 and for example uh, tow boats they use heavy 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 gear ratios 3 to 1 3.5 to 1 yes because they need they need they need pull a lot of load for that reason the gear ratio is too high in other words at high high speed at high high speed is for higher speed I need lower gear ratios for that reason remember that the gear ratio in the transmission of your boat is constant you don't have the possibility that you have in your car in your car you have the possibility to change the gear ratio when you change one two three four five no in in your boat you only have one gear ratio for forward and other gear ratio for reverse for that reason, for that reason, in, 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 in marine transmission, you need to control the temperature of the oil because if you are moving your boat constantly with only, only one gear ratio, fixed gear ratio, probably the temperature of the oil increase. For that reason, the oil in the majority of the marine transmission pass for the oil cooler and return into the transmission in order to keep the temperature appropriate this is a perfect this is a perfect example of the v-drive one shaft the input shaft and this is the output shaft and this is the v angle this is the v angle there are a lot of advantages of that system and uh, also some inconvenience uh, but uh, once again depending of uh, the space that you have in the engine room the v configuration is a great solution Yes, you can order the same transmission, straight transmission, inline transmission, or V-drive with the same gear ratio. And uh, the majority of the fa uh, of the manufacturers, uh, they produce uh, both of them uh, in series uh, with the same gear ratio, a V-drive or a straight transmission. Uh, advantage and disadvantage we are going to analyze. Uh, yes, uh, this is excellent because uh, uh, the, uh, if this is the hull of the boat, uh, the propeller is under the boat. Uh, it's not. It's not in the uh, below the swim platform. Mm, yeah, this is better for safety. Uh, this is good. Uh, of course, uh, reduce uh, the cockpit space inside of the boat. That's perfect for uh, short uh, uh, engine rooms, and uh, reduce the maintenance and increase. Uh, uh, reliability uh, in comparison with a steam drive yeah right now we are going to analyze uh, the V drive versus the steam drive and uh, what is better in, in what situation is better in general term is a steam drive is better it's more efficient let me explain why in my opinion the steam drive is better in comparison with the with the V drive and I suppose that I have a transmission with a gear ratio 2 to 1 how much is uh, the wide open throttle uh, on the propeller. Uh, uh, how much are the RPMs at wide open throttle on the propeller? It's uh, 1100 RPMs because the gear ratio is 2 to 1. All right, 1100 RPMs. All right, this is the maximum speed of the propeller. This is the maximum speed of the propeller in this particular case, 1100 RPMs, because I have a gear ratio 2 to 1. All right. How much are the RPMs in a typical, in a typical, the, the wide open throttle RPMs in a typical outboard engine? 
normally 5,000 RPM, 6,000 RPM. And uh, how much uh, are the revolutions in a in wide open throttle of those outboards? The reduction is a little. Probably those those uh, propellers uh, are running in wide open throttle around 3,500 RPMs, 3,500, 4,000 RPMs. The majority of those outboard propellers in outboard engines.